All right, welcome everybody from over here in Sefanbury. We're about two hours or so away from Bangkok. Anyway, I'm over here exploring today and I wanted to come by and I wanted to see some of these murals. It's uh, supposedly some Chinese Lao mix and the temple name, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher this terribly, but it's uh, Wat Nor Bud Hang Korn or something like that. Anyway, it's a uh, temple that was built under the reign of King Rama III. And I believe in about 1848 or so is when this temple was constructed. So it has some Ayutthaya style influencing, even though it's a Bangkok era temple. So we want, I wanted to come over here and see the murals. That's supposed to be a nice combination of Chinese and Lao, but it will be still Bangkok styling in the murals. And uh, let's look around. There's a ordination hall that's new and it has a, a Buddha, I'm not sure what the deal is with it, but it's, uh, it has a big sign and it's uh, known for uh, something around here. So anyway, uh, I know that's not a good description, but anyway, let's take a look at this temple and uh, hopefully we'll enjoy it. So back over here in the corner, this is the building I wanted to see right here. Now this was built, I believe under the king, reign of King Rama III. I don't know if it was an existing building before, but uh, you can see it's built in the Ayutthaya style. It's bowed in the middle like a boat. It has the little porch in the, the front. It's not the sloping porch, but it is uh, kind of the, the square porch with the high, the high top. And you can see how it's constructed with the, the bricks and then they put the molding, the plaster over the top of it. And then uh, up at the top, they always decorate the top of the beams up there. But take a look at this, this is really nice. Now you can't use a flash in here. So uh, don't touch the murals and uh, no flash. So you can see how they've decorated this. Now this reminds me here where you see this which uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Tree of Life that the, uh, like the Navajo use and some of the other tribes in the States. You can see some just faint outlines. I mean, you can see right here, there's just a little faint outline. And then they have some more all around and then like another one over here. So those would have been touched up from what was there before. And then you can see they have the, the little tiles and stuff in the plaster. Now inside of here, now I believe this is from the reign of King Rama III. So 1848-ish or so is when these were, uh, these were constructed. Now these aren't as nice to me as the, uh, like the Ayutthaya style murals, but these are still really awesome. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, still like almost 200 years old. The colors are a little different, the styling is a little different, but it still all has like, you know, the central theme of like, you know, the life around the farm, you know, with Buddhism as part of like their, uh, their life. You'll see here, like this is a stream. You see the, like the animals and people making offerings. And then up above is all the scenes of the Buddha. And then here is the main Buddha in this. Now this is a little wee hand. The uh, ordination hall is when you first come in, but I wanted to see this building first. So here is uh, these. You see how faded away they are? I mean, they're a couple hundred years old. Now the princess, the King Rama IX's daughter, she came over here and presided over a ceremony, like uh, marking this as like a significant building. And she was here like in 2009. So you can see the main, uh, main Buddha there and the one in front with the Naga. But this is, this is fantastic. You see the people praying and the people like in the little house here. The detail work is, is awesome. I don't know if this has uh, been touched up. This looks pretty nice on this wall here. 
but you can see around the windows, like you drop down here, how poor condition these are. And this wall is a little bowed on this side. It's kind of wavy. And then take a look at the ceiling, how they've painted the flowers and stuff on there. And they're quite faded up there. And the, and the roof beams. Yeah, this is so fun. I like this. Now here on the back wall, it has kind of some themes of like the Ayotia style with like the little jagged arrow that goes between the scenes. But that is, uh, that is really nice. And then over here is another scene. A lot of times you'll see this as like the goddess of the earth with the Buddha in the middle. They don't have that theme on this one. And they even painted the back of these window shutters. So you can see here. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is why I came to see this little temple right here. Okay, now let's look around to that, uh, that ordination hall over on the other side. And right here is a nice look at how they construct these. So you can see the brick core, and then they put that plaster that's about an inch thick or so, and then they paint over the top of it. And some of them, the newer ones, they've uh, stopped doing the brick. They'll just do it like as a concrete like form, and then they'll uh, just paint over the top of it. And a couple little chetties around here with the low wall around this little wee hand. Yeah, this building here is, is great. Now, I really like this kind of stuff where you're out just exploring and you come across stuff like this. Now, what they're saying at the front of the temple is that this is a mix of Lao and Chinese style mural. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, the Lao part of it is. It just kind of looks like, uh, to me, it looks like, you know, Bangkok styling, but I could be wrong. So if you know a little bit more about these, you know, I, I did a little research about it. And most of the people that have came here to study these are, you know, like the, uh, the intellectuals, the academia type people that cite, you know, different uh, little parts of it and, you know, write papers about it and all of that. So if you know a little bit more about it, you know, please feel free to tell me in a comment. Over here they have this little shrine. So they have one of the, like the famous monks. And I've seen this before over here in Sephambury and in Utong. Some of these shrines to some of the famous singers that come out of this area. And I don't know the history of it. I mean, the Thais do, but I don't. So back over in there is where that little tiny hall is at. Then you have the general purpose hall here. They have uh, the shrine. And then over here, this is a place for the monks. And uh, you wouldn't even know it just going by on the road, what all is here. So here is uh, like a little Buddha. And let's go inside and let's look in this ordination hall now. You can see the front, the styling up there. That sun's kind of in a bad spot. So this is what, uh, 2514. They got all the mesh to keep the, the pigeons out of the, uh, out of the eaves up there. They got the bell. It has like a little tile courtyard. You got the dogs hanging out here. Okay, so I came around to the front door. So they have the two Buddhas here. They have uh, the entranceway. And then here are some of the, like the marker stones. Here's the one right here by the front door. And then it has the, uh, the high threshold to get in. And then you can see this is the main Buddha in here. And then they have uh, like the little 3D images of the Buddha in all the walls with the same, uh, the same roof or the same ceiling. And then you can see the black lacquer window shutters when they're when they're closed they have the red here that you see from the inside and then this is the door they put a piece of plexiglass over it to kind of keep it intact yeah other than the, the 3d murals this hall is kind of you know just uh, a normal building you see selling the amulets and stuff like that over here. And then this is the main Buddha. I'm not sure the age of this one. I mean, this is a fairly recent hall and they have all the Buddha statues around that people make donations to with the little coins. And then here is the main image. 
Oh, and they have one of those like a uh, little mythical birds here. It says something on the bottom of it, but I don't know what it says. And this looks like they made this out of like a like wire almost. It's a little different look. And then here's the old Buddha over here that people are praying to. It's a quite a bit different pose. I'm not sure what that pose is. All right, so this is the outside of this building. This is kind of what you first see when you come in. So the uh, ordination hall is here. Then you see like the bell tower, all that stuff. And that first little building we looked at is hidden kind of way off over in there. And they have a sign here talking about that Buddha that's got kind of that, made out of that wire. I'm not sure what that says, that's all in Thai. Yeah, this is a nice little hall. All right guys, so that's gonna finish a pretty quick little video over here at Wat Nor Bud Hang Korn, or however you say it, over here in Safanbury. This is a nice little temple. The murals is why I stopped over here to see. They uh, have that Thai Chinese uh, Lao style and it's uh, all goes back to King Rama III. Now Rama III, he was uh, big with uh, the Chinese. His uh, number one advisor was a Chinese merchant. And uh, a lot of the styles of temples that you see that were built under his reign have a lot of Chinese influence. So anyway, this is a nice little temple. It's uh, just one of those that you have to kind of find. It's uh, off the tourist path. There's not any uh, tourists around here. You know, there's just the ties that come here and make merit. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed my little find out here for you guys. If you did, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is what I do. I show you things that I see and uh, tell you a little bit about what I know of these things out here. So if you like this kind of content, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified when I post something new. Uh, definitely smash the like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If, uh, if you like the temple or if you want me to do something different, let me know also. So from over here in Sefanburi, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.